Welcome to video 6 on Train Controller 10 Gold. Let's have a closer look at how we can configure the switchboard to our personal preferences. By default the track is blue and small and the active routes are yellow striped. And personally I like to have something more like this, a bit wider track, easier to distinguish turnouts and the uh, active routes or the reserved routes to be the color of the train. This is a black train and I have a black route. This is a blue terrain and we have a blue route. It makes it easier in a blink of an eye to distinguish which lock is driving where. This is where we left off in the previous video. We're talking about this switchboard and we can customize it by going to the view menu and over here we find customize the switchboard. Let's click it, it opens this pop-up window and we can make a lot of changes here. We can change the name of the switchboard, we can change if we would like to see the grid. By the way here you have a small preview window. If you like to see it on the large window, click this preview button and now we can see it uh, over here. Um, what I like to do, well maybe for now let's keep the grid on. Oh by the way there's also uh, different types of grid. Uh, if the lines are too aggressive we can go to dots and they are quite subtle. Um, I like to change the background color. Uh, if we click this uh, field then we get yeah, quite a palette but do, these are a little bit aggressive colors and I like a subtle one so let's click more and I like to find an earthy uh, brownish sand like color like, like for instance one on this scale. I already prepared one over here as a add to custom color so let's pick that and see what happens this yeah this is a sand like color and that is to me it's easy to the eye um, let's keep this color let's go to the track section the track now is dark gray i like it to have yeah more or less the same color as the background and then make the lines uh, have it stand out so this is okay for me uh, we see it has the same color the black lines the top and bottom ones i like to have uh, more or less the same shade as the uh, the background but then a bit darker uh, so can i get that uh, yeah something like this uh, should be okay and then, uh, oh, I forgot to save it as a custom color, but let's find this one again. And, well, I think I was uh, something over there. Uh, look, now I have very subtle lines for my track. Let's make it white, or it's called thick. That makes my track thicker. Let's have a look. Well, that is subtle. That is not aggressive to the eye. Uh, but now I like to uh, highlight the uh, turnouts a bit more. They are hidden here in the highlighting section. Here with the turnouts, they are white currently. Uh, let's make them orange. And uh, I also want to change the route colors. Oh, let's first have a look at the orange. Yeah, that's, that's good. We, we can exactly see how the turnouts are switched. Let's go to the route section. What I want to do there is get the color of the train. So let's click train. And now what will happen is when a train starts to drive, the active route or the reserved route will get the color of the train. Uh, we will see in a minute how we change the color of the train. Let's first go to the block section. What you can do here is uh, have these tick marks uh, to show the signals or not show the signals. Uh, this is what you get if you do not show the signals. Personally I like to see them. Uh, and you can show the name uh, if uh, a block is not reserved. Well I personally prefer to see the names over there. So let's keep that tick mark on. Uh, also with the trains you can uh, uh, decide to show the train names but that is 
to my personal liking uh, a bit too busy and I can already see from the picture which train is which so let's show the train picture well uh, you can also decide uh, to show only the name maybe if that's what you like but yeah personally I don't I, it's much more fun to see the pictures isn't it so this is good uh, let's go out of the customization field. Uh, there is a lot of uh, things and colors that you can play with. Just, just figure it out what you personally like best. Now we are going to change these uh, train colors. So uh, uh, let's go to edit mode. Uh, uh, that whole uh, switchboard customization can be done out of edit mode. But to change a train we have to be in edit mode and double click the train. And there in the general top you see color. Uh, this train is a black train, uh, uh, probably also very polluting uh, smoke, so let's make it a black line. And that's okay. And this blue train, uh, yeah, let's give it a blue line, why not? That makes it easy to distinguish. And this gray train, Let's give it a gray line. I don't know how dark, but okay. This is what I now have. Let's go to out of edit mode and into operation. Let's do an auto train for this uh, black train. And let's see what color it makes. Ah, black but striped. Can I change that? I want a continuous line. Um, uh, oh, let's first uh, get rid of this uh, uh, schedule and see if the blue train also uh, has a blue line. That uh, we know that it worked. Yeah, it's a blue line, but again a striped line. I don't want striped lines. I want a continuous line. So let's go back to customize the switchboard, highlighting, and then. Uh, in the uh, routes, uh, where can I occupy the tracks? Oh, they are still thin. I like them to be. Oh, that was for the turnouts. Uh, oh, here is the highlighting style. We have long lines. You can have double lines. Uh, we can see here in the preview how that works out. Too busy for my eyes. We can have short stripes. I don't want any stripes. Continuous with black stripes or continuous without stripes. That is easy to the eye. Let's choose that. And now let's have a look again in the uh, operation auto train. If I now, uh, oh, what's happening? Auto train. If I drive this blue train over there, yes, that is a nice blue stripe. Well, this is what I like. Uh, easy to the eye, not too much uh, cluttering and uh, yeah to see which train is driving where these colors are very helpful of course you can have your own uh, other preferences that doesn't matter as long as you are happy with it uh, maybe see you back in the next video and in the meantime have fun <laughs>